Hello, everyone, in our last two videos we have shown you how to create task for INSTgram and Pinterest. Today I will show you how to create task for Facebook. Almost all the settings among them are very similar, so if you are still confusion after watching this video, you can check other videos to learn how to create task. Ok, let's begin our today's topic. Click Facebook, and then click add button to add a category below it. Name it and then click OK. Here, you can click the Add button to add account directly. Or click the Import button to import the account from a CSV or text file in your PC. Check the account category on, then on the right side we can see the account we imported just now. Check the account on, and then click Start button. The program will scrape the account detailed information from website automatically. The pop-up form is the program's running window. If the program is checking the account, and then the background of the color will be yellow. If you do not want to see the program's running window, you can turn off it on the settings. Task running thread means the number of running threads of your task. Module running thread means the number of debug windows of your task. These two options can be set according to the performance of your computer. The rest two options mean that turn off or on the debug window and disable or enable picture. After set all, click OK. If the program has successfully checked the account, and then you can view the account detailed information. Such as account name, page URL, like amount, and so on. If checking the account failed, then there will be no detailed information. After finish adding account, now let's create task for it. On the task manager tab, click add button, name it and then click OK. On the pop-up task settings interface, select Facebook. Right-click module, add an account module first, because the data from it will be used to other modules. On its settings interface, select the account to do the operation. These two options are used to handle how to use the accounts and how to deal with the account which has been used. Add a search people module to search users, and the data will be used by the behind modules. Select account to search. Input the keyword to search. If there are multiple keywords, please use comma to separate them. Check this option on, so it avoids searching the same data again. Input the search amount you need. We have introduced the below two options, so we won't introduce them again. Add an add friends module. On its setting interface, select the search people module as the user source. Select account to do the operation. Here, we use the default value for the interval time option. If we check run all source option on, program will calculate the running times according to the account amount we select and the user amount it searched out. Here, we will use the default set for the timeout option. If the data from this module will be used to the other modules, you need to select the result to return. Add a sleep module to sleep for a while. Now, we finished the very simple task. If you want your task to be more complicated, you also can continue to add modules for it. Add a URL module. Add several main page URLs for it. And the data from it will be used to other modules. Add a like pages module. Select the URL module as the page source.
select account to do the operation. Still check the run all source option on. Add a sleep module to sleep the task for a while. Add a search posts module. The settings of this module are very similar with the search pages module. Input 3 for the search amount option. Now, add a like posts module. Select search posts as the post source. The settings are also similar with the like pages modules. Add a comment module. Select the like posts module as the post source. Select account to run this module. There is no data to select in the comment source option. So, add a text module before it. Input the comment content. After finished it, add a spin module to spin the content from the text module. Select spinner you need, and then select text module as the content source. Now, let's back to the comment module. Select spin module as its comment source. Check the run all source option on. Select to return the successful results, because the data from this module will be used to the next modules. Add a share module. Select the comment module as its post source. Select account to run it. Here, we can select the front modules as the content source or just click this option to empty it. Still check the run all source option on. Now, we have finished the task that we need. But you also can add different modules according to your needs. Click OK to save the task settings. Check the task on we just created, and then on the right side you can view the details about it. Click run button. On the pop-up form, you can set the run mode that you need. One is to set how many times you want to run the task. The second is to loop the task and it won't stop until you click the stop button. The last is to set a schedule time to run the task. After set all, click OK. See, the second module is searching users. It has searched out three results. Now, the program is running the add friends module. On its settings, we let it run three times, so it won't stop until it finished running three times and it will add different people each time. After finished the add friend module, the program will continue to execute the next modules in turn. When it finished all modules, it will stop automatically. Of course, you also can click the stop button to stop it directly.
That is all for Facebook, thanks for watching.